It's an interesting question. Combines concepts from two topics, trigonometry and quadratic equations. In triangle PQR, right angled at Q, measure of side PR equals 41 units. We've been given information about the other two sides. The difference between PQ and QR equals 31. We need to compute the value of this expression. Let's get started by drawing this right triangle PQR, right angled at Q. PR measures 41, which is the hypotenuse. What information do we have about the other two sides? PQ minus QR equals 31. So we can say PQ equals QR plus 31. What we'll do, step one, we'll compute the measure of these two sides, PQ and QR using Pythagoras theorem. PR square is equal to PQ square plus QR square. That's Pythagoras theorem. Measure of PR is equal to 41. So this is 41 square. Instead of PQ, let's replace it with a 31 plus QR. So PQ square becomes 31 plus QR the whole square plus QR square. Let's expand this expression. 41 square is equal to 1681. This is equal to, we have an X plus Y the whole square format here, which is X square plus 2XY plus Y square. So it's going to be X square, which is 31 square, which is 961 plus 2XY will be 2 into 31 into QR, which is 62 QR plus y square is a qr square and then we have one more qr square let's write that as well what we'll do the next step is club like terms and take all of them to one side so qr square plus qr square will make it as 2 qr square plus 62 qr 961 minus 1681 will be a minus 720 equals 0 we're going to be factorizing to find the value of qr to make that easy let's divide the entire equation by a 2 so we'll be left with a QR square plus 31 QR minus 360 is equal to 0. Product is equal to minus 360. Sum is equal to plus 31. 40 into 9, the product will be a 360. One of them should be positive. The other should be negative. The sum is a plus 31. So let's go with plus 40 and a minus 9. So we'll factorize as QR square plus 40 QR minus QR minus 9 QR minus 360 equals 0. So essentially the factorization will boil down to QR plus 40 into QR minus 9 equals 0. The value of QR is either it's minus 40. The value of QR could also be equal to 9. Measures of sides cannot be negative. So this is infeasible. Measure of QR therefore equals 9 units. We found out QR equals 9. PQ is equal to 31 plus QR which is 31 plus 9 which is equal to 40. So measure of all three sides of this triangle are available to us. It's consolidated up to this point in a printed form and then set about to finding the value of this expression. Right? Let's get started. The substituted value of PR is 41, PQ to be equal to 31 plus QR and then expanded this term to get this quadratic equation. To make factorization easy, let's divide it by a 2. So this is a quadratic equation to factorize. The equation factorizes as follows to give us QR to be equal to 9. If you know QR equals 9, you can find the value of PQ to be equal to QR plus 31, which is 9 plus 31, which is equal to 40. So measure of all three sides are available to us. Step 2, let's find out the value of secant R and then tan R and then compute the value of this expression. Secant R is 1 by cos R, therefore it's equal to hypotenuse by adjacent side, side adjacent to angle R. Hypotenuse is PR. This is angle R. Side adjacent to angle R is equal to QR. So PR by QR is the value of secant R. PR equals 41, QR equals 9. So secant R is equal to 41 by 9. The second trigonometric ratio, tan R. Tan R is opposite side by adjacent side. Side opposite to angle R which is equal to PQ. Side adjacent to angle R which is equal to QR. So PQ by Q QR will be equal to 40 by 9. They found out secant R, tan R. Last step is finding the value of this expression. If secant R is equal to 41 by 9, Secant square r will be equal to 41 by 9 the whole square. Tan r equals 40 by 9. So tan square r will be equal to 40 by 9 the whole square. 9 square is a common denominator to both. So which is equal to 81. Numerator will be 41 square minus 40 square. This is how the form a square minus b square which will be in a plus b into a minus b. So this is equal to 41 plus 40 which is a plus b. a minus b is a 41 minus 40 divided by 81. 41 minus 40 is a 1. So we can ignore it when you're multiplying it. 41 plus 40 is equal to 81. 81 by 81 is equal to 1. So the value of secant square r minus tan square r is equal to 1. This will be true irrespective of the values of PR, QR and this is a standard identity which you'll be learning down the line. 
So secant square r minus tan square r equals 1 or the other way the same identity we will be learning a little while down the line will be secant square r is equal to 1 plus tan square r. This is just a preview to that right now. Consolidate it in a printed form. Secant r is equal to 41 by 9. Tan r equals 40 by 9. So secant square r minus tan square r is 41 by 9 the whole square minus 40 by 9 the whole square which works out to be 1.